Peko Banyaya says he needed a strong showing on Friday at the MotoGP San Marino Grand Prix following his strange Aragon weekend. The reigning double world champion topped Friday outright at Mizano by 0.185 seconds despite carrying minor injuries from a tangle with Alex Marquez last Sunday at Aragon. Friday at Mizano marked a major turnaround in form for Banyaya, who struggled all weekend on the new asphalt at Aragon prior to his race-ending crash with the younger Marquez brother. For his confidence, he said he needed to have the strong day that he did, while admitting also that he had to ride with painkillers in second practice after his physical condition left him a bit scared in FP1. This feels very good to be first in a normal day, not considering my physical situation, he said. But after Aragon, I was needing a feeling like this on my bike because in Aragon everything was strange. So, I'm happy. This morning, I was a bit scared about my feeling because I was feeling a lot of pain in all of my body. But this afternoon we decided, and we planned in the clinica, to use, painkillers and I felt much better. So, being able to just focus on riding was better for me and we did a very good job with the bike. My feeling was very good. On using painkillers through the weekend, Banyaya added, Yeah, absolutely, I will use more, also for tonight to sleep well. Tomorrow morning maybe I will have to suffer a bit without taking anything. But we will try to do something good even if I feel a bit of pain to have more painkillers in the afternoon. Banyaya headed five Ducatis in Friday practice at Mizano and feels this is the normality he expected to see last weekend at Aragon. I was expecting a normal weekend in Aragon, the Italian, looking to close down a 23-point lead in the championship, said. Here is the normality, I think. Before Aragon, it was more or less this situation every session. Marquez is riding well, for sure the win in Aragon has given to him a lot of motivation. In this track, I don't remember well, but last year I was feeling good even if I was not at 100% like this year. But for sure, I was expecting a result like this. <laughs> Mark Marquez didn't quite repeat his perfect Aragon practice form at the start of the Mizano MotoGP weekend. But last Sunday's winner came very close. The Grazzini rider, who ended a near three year victory drought with his debut Ducati victory in Aragon, was second quickest in both Friday practice sessions. Riding at the scene of his final Honda win in 2021, Marquez was a fraction behind title leader Jorge Martin, plus 0.037s, in the morning and beaten by only reigning champion Francesco Bagnaia, plus 0.185s, in the afternoon. <laughs> Most importantly for Marquez, after the slippery Aragon surface, he immediately regained his good feeling from the Red Bull ring, even though Austria requires a special rear tire construction, but Mizano the standard tire casing. Super happy about the day because the target was to try to start with the same feeling as Red Bull ring and we did it, Marquez told MotoGP.com. The feeling was good and we were able to manage in a good way from FP1. But already in FP2, Banyaya and especially Jorge had very good pace so it will be difficult to fight with them. But we are there, in those top positions and I'm happy. As the lone GP23 rider among four GP24S, Marquez acknowledged that the factory bikes are looking strong. There are four 24s in the top five positions. And me there in the middle, he smiled. Our bike, it's true that we are losing in some areas but also we have some strong points and I feel happy with the bike. I'm enjoying and this is the most important. And did he feel any difference, being back on track after Sunday's win? I'm 31 years old, it's not a very big change. But it's true that the way to approach the races and way to give more confidence to myself is important. Especially when you have a good result, when you have a victory, you are putting in fuel in your body. It's a big motivation to keep going and keep working. An encouraging Friday at Mizano for Yamaha saw Fabio Quartararo do enough to enter Q2. Quartararo was ninth fastest in Friday practice ahead of the San Marino MotoGP. It a rare day of optimism for the struggling Japanese manufacturer. It was a good start to the San Marino race weekend, especially for Fabio, team boss Massimo Marigali said. He was feeling good right from the jump in this morning's FP1. The objective was the top 10 in the practice and he pushed hard to make it happen. It's an encouraging result, being in Q2 directly can only help him in the remainder of the weekend. He tried a new chassis today, and so did Alex. 
Both of them gave positive feedback, so the plan is to keep using it the next two days. Alex's lap times improved compared to the private Mizano test. We will analyze the data and tweak the bike setup this evening so tomorrow morning in FP2 we can help him make another step. Quarterero said, after this morning, we knew it was going to be tough. I was in P5, but we have to take into account that only we and Honda tested here before. I expected to have a tough afternoon, but in the end we are inside the top 10. That was our goal, so I'm pretty happy. I think that the new chassis that we tried today was a bit better. Hopefully we can find a bit more grip tomorrow, trying some different things. Alex Rins, 17th on Friday, said, We tried a new chassis, and it works quite well. It's difficult to make a comparison because the grip level is higher now here, but today I rode one second faster than I did during the test. So, for sure, the bike was a little bit better today. Or maybe my head was in test mode back then, so I wasn't pushing like I do during a GP weekend. Either way, this chassis was a little bit better, but we're still struggling a bit. We mixed the setting we used during the test with the setting we used in Aragon, but it didn't work as I hoped. It wasn't that bad, but there's still a big margin to improve. On the other hand, Alberto Puig has pointed out why Marc Marquez was forced to wait for his first win post Honda. Marquez secured his first wins on a Ducati last weekend in Aragon, rolling back the years to deliver a perfect weekend. Marquez revealed that he visited his former colleagues at Honda, where he won his eight world championships so they felt a part of his newest success. I was very happy about Mark's victory, and I expected it, Repsol Honda team boss Puig told El Periodico. And I'll tell you more, I expected him to win sooner, but I was very surprised by the difference between this year's Ducati and the 2023 Ducati. I think that this difference, which is important, has prevented Mark from winning races in the first third of the season. That end, of course, that both Peko Banyaya and Jorge Martin and even Inia Bastianini are riding wonderfully and are three great riders. Puig's Honda remained stuck at the back of the grid, the key reason Marquez chose to quit last year. But he insists that riding a 23 Ducati has held Marquez back this season. That is why I say that what Mark has just achieved, winning with a motorcycle from last year against the official Ducati ones, has even more merit. I'm not involved in Ducati, but I've been here for many years, watching and analyzing the races and the difference between this year's Ducati and last year's is big. That's why Mark's merit, by winning in Aragon, is immense. And, I repeat, I expected it, it doesn't surprise me in the least. Puig paid tribute to the champion that was once Honda's star. I know better than anyone who Mark Marquez is, he is a rider with beastly capabilities. I know that, following his tremendous accident in Jerez, many people doubted him. And I understand it, because everything was complicated, not only the injuries, the diplopia in his eyes, the motorcycle that didn't work, but, even with everything, I never doubted that I would win again, never. Mark has returned to being Mark, he has won again, not because of his talent, not because of the Ducati, not because of his new team, no, no. Mark has won again because he had it very clear. When you become obsessed with a goal, when you have things as clear as Mark had them and have them, when you have a determination as brutal as he has, it is impossible for what you pursue, what you propose, not to happen. And even less so when it comes to a phenomenon like Mark. 